several years, but let's review what each of them are real quick, okay? Um, I'm going to want to put a problem up here just so we can kind of talk about them and it'll make sense. So, it says, I'm just going to do for example 45.2. It says, the scores on the test were 86, 93, 60, 66, 95, 83, and let's see, 85, and 78. So let me make sure 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Yes. Now, we're going to do range, median, mode, it doesn't matter. I'm just going to do the word. Median. Mode, mean. Mode, mean. Now, I'm going to explain to you what that means, but the very first thing I want you to do is put them in order from smallest to largest. So, I'm just going to do some rearranging up here. 60, uh, 66, keep doing, keep doing with me, 83, 85, 86, whoops, I missed one, 78, I'm going to put that one back here, 78, 83, 85, 86, and 93, 95, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, yes, okay, you got the same thing I've got? All right, range is you take the lowest score or number, whatever you're working with, lowest and the highest, and you subtract it. So 95 minus 60 would give us 35. Okay? So the range answer is 35. All right? Now, median, if you're driving down the road, and you want to look in the middle and there's a grass area before you get to the other side that other people are going, it's called the median. So if you have a traffic lane going this way and a traffic lane going this way, what's in the middle is called the median. So median means middle. So what you're going to do is best if you can write out all these numbers all on a straight line. So um, I'm going to try to do that right here real quick. So 60, 66, 78, I'm just writing real small, 83, 85, 86, 93, 95. Now, the best way to figure out the median is to, it's called the rainbow method. You start from the lowest and go to the highest, then you go to the next lowest, to the next highest, next lowest, to the next highest, and you get to the next lowest, next highest. Now, on this one, these two are our middle numbers, 83 and 85. Sometimes you'll come and get an actual complete um, middle number. This one, we do not have a middle number. We have 83 and 85. So you can't use two numbers for the median. So we're going to say what is in the middle between 83 and 85. 84 would be. So even though 84 is not a number in our set, it is still the median. It's still the middle number. So you're going to put 84. What if it was like 83 and 84? Then you do 83.5. Yeah. Okay? And if it's 83 and 96, you would add 83 plus 96. Get your um, 179 and then divide that by 2 to get your median score. Okay? So you take your two middle numbers, if there's two of them, and get that. Now, let's say we had one more number. For example, 100 right here. I want you to see what would happen. Okay? Doing the same method. 85 is our middle number. Okay? Mm -hmm. So, that's how that works. Alright, but this time it was 84. Now, mode means most often or the one that you see the most of. Okay? Um, on this one, 60, 66, 78, 83, 85, 86, 93, 95, there is no two of any number or three of any number or four of any number. So you put none because we don't have more than one of anything. 
but the one that has more or the most of something is your mode. Mm -hmm. Okay? Mean, do you remember what to do with mean? Mean is finding the average. So we add up 60 plus 66 plus 78 plus 83 plus 85 plus 86 plus 93 plus 95 and get 646. Okay? And then you take how many numbers there are, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, and you divide your sum, the amount added all together, 646, divided by 8 to figure out what is our average amount. And the average amount is 80.75. So this is a good example of if someone, you had a test, you had 8 different tests, and this is your scores. Then your teacher added up all your test scores, all these up. What you would get on your report card is an 81. Mm -hmm. 80.75, and we would round up. It would give you an 81. So if these were your math scores, you would get an 81 on your report card. Okay, that's how that works. All right, let's do um, one more. And I'm going to go on and do 45.1, and then I'm going to skip over and do 45.3 because there's something else I want to teach you on that one. Okay, so 45.1 tells me that a freight company rece receives a shipment of eight cats and one cow. Their weight, how much they weigh in pounds, are two, three, <laughs> two, two, three, two, four, three, and eight hundred. Okay, obviously that's our cow. <laughs> So, if I were to put these out again, you always start by putting your numbers in order. So, I'm going to go 2, 2, 2, 2. Then I've got a 3, and a 3, and another 3, a 4, and an 800. Okay? All right. Now, if we were going to find the range, I'm just going to put R for range. I would say you take your biggest number and your smallest number, and you subtract them. 800 minus 2 would give us 798. That is our range. All right? My median, remember median is the one in the middle. Okay? So again, we're going to go boom, 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 boom. And which one's the one in the middle? 3 is. Okay? So our median is 3. Mode is the one you see the most of. And there are four twos, three threes, one four, and one eight hundred. So, mode, there are four twos, so our mode would be a two. And then our mean, which is the average, is I'm going to add up 800 plus 4 plus 3 plus 3 plus 3 plus 2 plus 2 plus 2 plus 2, and I would end up getting 821. And since there are nine numbers, I'm going to divide that by nine. And my final answer is going to be 91.22. So that is our mean weight between all of the different um, animals. Okay? Now, let's do 45.3 and make sure you're understanding this one. Okay? As I look on this one, it's important for you to look at this. Okay? So it says this. The mean of five numbers, the mean of five numbers is 10. Now stay with me. Four of the numbers, four of the numbers are two, whoops, eight, 11, 14. And they want you to find the fifth number. Okay. Now, if the mean or the average of five of the numbers is 10, then what that means is if I took five numbers times something, and remember our answer would be 10 if that was going to be our average, we would have to figure out what the sum is. So the sum is going to be 50, right? Because 5 times 10 equals 50. In order for us to get the average of something when we're taking five numbers to get 10, then our sum has to be 50. So that tells me that this number plus this number plus this number plus this number plus some other number needs to equal 50, okay, in order for me to get an average of 10. So how I would do that is go 14 
plus 11 plus 8 plus 2, and let's see what that is, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 1, 2, 3, 35. So what does that tell me? If our total sum is 50 and I've reached 35 so far, then I need 15, okay? And so now that I have 15 there, 15 plus all of those numbers is going to give me 50, which is exactly what I want, 50, to then divide by five numbers to get 10, okay? Now, that's one way you can do it. The other way that you can do it is you can just set up these numbers, this 2, um, 8, 11, and 14, plus, and you can just put um, an N because we don't know what other number, equals 10, and then you would put that all over 5 because we're dividing these five, remember, the mean of five numbers equals 10, and the numbers are 2, 8, 11, 14, and the fifth number. So, this is how you could work it out, and this is actually how um, the problem would be. So you would just add all these up, which would give us 35 plus n divided by 5 equals 10. I like the other way better, even though this is the um, way you would write it. It just makes more sense um, to do it that other way. And so I would know that 35 plus 15 gives me an answer of 50, and 50 divided by 5 equals 10. Okay? So... Watch that over if you need to, to kind of understand exactly what that means. Um, that is lesson 45.